Hey everyone, it's me here at Kimball out here in the garden on a coolish June morning. I want to talk to you about cloches, uh, which are uh, devices, we could say, or appliances maybe that you put over plants or seeds when you plant them and they create a protective environment to get your plants off to a good start. And plants, I, I like to think plants are a little bit like children. If you uh, give them a good environment when they're starting out, you protect them, uh, give them what they need, then once you uh, let them out into the world, they're, they're gonna do okay. And so that's the objective with a cloche. And I have come up with several different cloches over the years. If you're familiar with my book, The Planet Whizbang Idea Book for Gardener or Gardeners, or some of my other uh, videos you've seen my uh, solar pyramids, which are a deluxe cloche uh, that works great, but it is kind of expensive. And the next uh, cloche idea I've, I've had is right here. I don't know if you can see them, but I'll show you real quick on our way to the cloches that I'm going to feature in this video. These are the garbage bag cloches around my tomatoes. Another great idea, very simple, is if you're using cages for your tomatoes. But the cloche I want to talk to you about, and I'm going to show you, is the tire sidewall cloche. And I actually did a video about this years ago, but I'm going to show it again because it's such a great idea. It's simple and effective. And, and it's, not a, it's just not a, a hassle to work with, as I'll show you. Okay, what you're looking at right there is a tomato in a garbage bag cloche. And that tomato's doing really well. It's in a mini bed, one tomato to a mini bed. Hard to believe, but uh, that tomato will fill this cage to overflowing. Yes, it will. And here we have kale. I can get sidetracked on mini beds. We have broccoli, but let's get over to these sidewall cloches. Right there, you can see two sidewall cloches in two mini beds. Both mini beds are planted to Zephyr summer squash. That's our very favorite summer squash. Uh, so there's what the cloches look like from the outside, and now we'll take a look underneath. There are three simple components to the tire sidewall cloche. The tire sidewall, which is very easy to cut out of a used tire, and um, I actually show that in my flying tires video. It's uh, I can cut two sidewalls out of an old tire in uh, probably 30 seconds. Then we have the plastic. This is a perforated plastic. Bought a big roll of this years ago, a lifetime supply, and I can't remember what it's called. I'll try to find it, I'll put it in the description. This, uh, if you didn't have this ventilated plastic, you could certainly ventilate some regular plastic. The, the same plastic I use on my garbage bag cloches. This feels about like that thickness. And then we have two wires. These wires, here, they're stiff wires, uh, actually came from campaign sign uh, frames that people put in their yards. So I know these are 22 years old, just about, somewhere in that area, because I was uh, helping with a political campaign and I got some of these frames. So all of these components, even this, could be reused year after year. Now, what I have in here, I told you, is the Zephyr squash and We'll come up close here and I'll show you what I got. And there they are, beautiful little zephyr uh, seedlings in the morning sun. There's two good ones and you can see probably another one there. I planted five seeds, three have sprouted, two look really good. I'll get rid of that uh, lesser one and then I'm going to let these two grow and at some point I will thin out one. So I have only one zephyr squash growing in the mini bed and uh, that's what i've done in past years that works well the uh, root space and the the capillary soil moisture from around the bed and in the bed is pretty much sufficient to supply that squash with everything uh, without me watering it okay we'll take a look at this one yeah there we go four of the five seeds that i planted here have come up very nicely and i'll just take one out yeah, that's, that's what you gotta do. You gotta prune them out of there. And here we have a zucchini. Let's see what we've got under the zucchini cloche. Oh yeah, got a couple there, two seeds. And the first true leaves are forming. Got another zucchini here. Let's see what this one looks like. 
Ooh, look at that. Yeah, one plant is the superstar right there. We'll probably uh, get rid of this one right now. And uh, we'll just see how these go. And I'll prune to one at some point. Let's go look at the winter squash. This area here has had plastic over it. And I've used tire sidewalls to hold down the plastic. I've got a few here. Not enough. Always need more tire sidewalls. Very handy on the homestead. But this year I have uh, planted the, uh, I guess it's a butterscotch Oops. squash, winter squash here. Okay. Look at my wires there. <laughs> it just goes to show you don't need straight wires to make a tire sidewall cloche. And we've got these started in there. They're off to a start. All five seeds grew and a couple look better. So uh, I'll, I'll be thinning there too. I, we won't go look under them, but we've got two more of these butterscotch uh, winter squash here. They're going to sprawl all over this black plastic and um, I won't have any weeds to pick and they're going to have plenty of moisture captured under the plastic. I've got four mini beds here of pickles. No, cucumbers. They're not pickles yet. Let's take a look. We'll just check this one out. I can see I left the cloche up when I checked it the other day. Whoa, look at that. I planted four uh, hills and they were older seeds, so I put a lot of seeds in. I'll probably thin these to two. Two really good plants in time. You see how simple these are, these cloches? Tire sidewall cloches. So simple. Yeah, look at those. Get them off to a good start. The parsley bed, that bed will fill like a bush with parsley. Here we go. More cucumbers. Yeah, really nice. Well, we've looked under all but this one. We'll check this one out now. And there we go. Wow, they're looking good. All right, folks, that's, that's my story. Tire sidewall cloches for these squashes and cucumbers. They're just ideal. I've used them for decades, literally. There you are, my gardening friends. Tire sidewall cloches. And uh, you try them, you'll like them. They're simple, they're effective, uh, they're cheap. <laughs> They got everything going for them. Uh, hey, if you like this video, give me a give me a thumbs up. It means a lot, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.